Okay, so now I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I'm going to spread that all over. Now I'm going to be using my Kat Von D palette in Ludwig. And this is what it looks like, but my brown actually fell. Like, I dropped it and it broke. So I saved it and I put it in like a little container. So the first thing I'm going to be using is this color in, in Orby, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to be using my E60 Large Shader by Sigma. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. I love these powders. They're so pigmented and they're like just the right shade of like green or like any of our colors are not too crazy. Take the same brush and I'm just going to do my under eye. This shade right here and this is in downtown. And I'm just going to take a, just a little blending brush because I'm going to warm up my crease a little bit. I'm going to take my, another shader brush. And this is my E25. I mean, you could use the same brush again, but this one's already got some brown on it. So that's what I'm going to be using. The very last color in this palette is going to be that brown, and it's called Leather. And it, it kind of looks like this. I just don't want it to, like, spill it all over. So it looks like that, and I did spill it. <laughs> Nice. And I'm going to put this in my crease. I apologize that my lighting isn't the best, but this is all I got for now. <laughs> I'm going to take just a small shader brush. I'm going to be using this one, and I'm going to put it right here on the bottom outer third of my lid. I'm going to be using this brush right here, and I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is called Tequila. I love this highlight. Oh, my cats have to be fighting with each other right now. And then I'm also going to put it right here just to kind of highlight the inner corner using just a clean shader brush. Now for my eyeliner, I'm going to be using my, let's see, my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner, um, and this is in Blackest Black. I'm going to be using my little E05 Eyeliner Brush by Sigma.
my Ardell Wispy Lashes. I already put the glue on them to get them all tacky. So I'm going to take those and just... And I'm just going to go over my liner again with my L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense. Just to cover up any of the white glue. And for my eyeliner on my waterline, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay 24-7 in black or zero okay and for my lashes I'm going to be using my carbon black by L'Oreal Okay, so for the rest of my face, the very first thing I use, well, I'm going to be trying this Revlon Color Stay Concealer out, but I always do my concealer. Before I do any bronzer or blush. Then my bronzer, which is my everyday Too Faced Sun Bunny with my large powder, my F20 by Sigma. Just apply that to the cheeks, under the chin, forehead down the nose and then I'm going to take my F40 by Sigma and I'm going to go in with this MAC blush and this is gingerly that on my cheekbones okay sorry I had to take that bobby pin out it was kind of driving me crazy okay now after you do your blush I'm actually gonna take the new Lorac Pro to go palette that I got I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones with pearl and any you know little fluffy brush would do I'm just gonna go right above my cheekbones it's a pretty shade I like that and then I'm gonna take my mineral veil and just you know go over everything Okay, now for my lips, I'm going to use my Boldly Bare Lip Liner. Just line my lips. 
obviously. And I'm going to use Shy Girl by MAC. And you don't have to, but I'm going to use this Fluster Rose uh, lip gloss by MAC. Uh, you don't really need to put anything over it. Actually, I might just leave it. Yeah, I'm just leaving it. Okay, so here's my finished look. I love this look during the fall. I usually wear a lot of tan and greens and stuff. So, you know, an eyeshadow like this really pulls everything together. And I just love it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see how I do the rest of my little fall series, just stay tuned. Um, I should have those up, you know, day by day. But hopefully... I can get a better lighting set up and all that good stuff. So thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.